Hi ladies, Jenny here. I've been experimenting with um, some white prima flowers and trying to turn them into um, butterflies. So there's um, getting there. Um, I've used paint and glimmer mist and all sorts of things there. So what I'm going to do now is use some glimmer mist as the base of um, the butterfly. And actually I'm going to, I'm using um, a five petal flower at the moment but um, a six works best uh, but we're just going to cut that top one, that top petal off. You can use that for a leaf down the track. Okay, so now we've got our four wings there. I'm just going to spray that with some pink, um, vintage pink. Okay, and then dry that. And this is probably what takes the longest time, the drying time. And try and get this in um, under 10 minutes if possible. I may have to edit it out, but we'll have a go. Alright, that'll do. Not quite dry, but good enough. Okay, so now I'm just going to take some Haunted Shadow Glimmer Mist and um, just apply some of that onto here to give it some dimension. doesn't look purple at all yet anyway. It looks brown. Okay, now we're just going to go around the edges here. That a bit of heat. Now I'm going to grab a little charm here. I've used most of my smaller ones. And I can't remember where I've bought these. So I'm just going to have to go searching for them because they're the perfect shape for um, making butterflies. Okay. They have the um, holes in the top here so you can thread through some copper wire. making the um, antenna here. And um, you've got a 
as I'm trying to hurry and, and to stuff it up. But you get the idea. Okay, now that's got a, um, a pointed edge on it. it points on in the bottom there, so it'll sit nicely in there with some glitter mist. Uh, sorry, some um, glossy accents. So that's what we're going to put on here now. Just cover it liberally in glossy accents. Sit that in there and then squeeze it and hold it until that um, glossy accent sets. And then what I would do is I would just put probably three um, either pearls or rhinestones along the base of the um, bottom wings. I could probably speed up the drying time here with my heat tool. Don't want to burn the um, the flower there, but you get the idea. Okay, I've probably got a bit of time to add those rhinestones. I think I'll put clear rhinestones on this one. So making a butterfly out of Prima flowers. So I'd really love um, to see what you guys can come up with. I'm sure, given a bit of time, um, that you'll come up with something amazing. I've only just tried doing this tonight in between uploading some videos. So there we go. Pretty butterfly out of the Prima flower. You could probably cut the wings, um, the petals to shape um, a bit better than that, but um, you get the picture there. And yeah, I'd love to see what you can come up with. Um, these are a close-up of the butterflies um, that I've made tonight. That was the first one I've made. I think I like the shape of it. That's from the six petal flower. Um, it's just a bit too dark for my liking. It might suit um, certain pages. That's the one I just finished making. That was the second one. That was the third one. Okay. Thanks, guys. Bye.